Now, uh, quite a few of these problems have <clears throat> two different lines, or I even see some with like a line segment and array. We'll 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 get to those later, but um, it's just it's like two different rates on the same graph. I've got flow rate A, flow rate B. A might be like um, you've got a garden hose that's flowing faster, like you get more out of it, more gallons of water per minute on a better garden hose. Maybe it's a bigger diameter garden hose. Actually, well, let's not get into a fluid dynamics. That might be going a little too far. <laughs> But let's just say I've got a really nice brand new garden hose. It's got it's not it's nice and shiny new. It's not dirty or anything. And so it's it's less clogged. And so I've got a higher flow rate than my neighbor uh, who has the same garden hose, but it's older. That, that could sort of explain what's going on with these graphs. Um, to calculate the flow rate for garden hose A, choose two points on that line. Well, two points have been chosen for us already. Let me do a little color coding here. I'll do A and red. So they've already indicated these two points. They didn't need to do that for us. We could have done that for ourselves. And you'll see in the upcoming problems, you'll need to choose the two points. That's part of what part of the challenge of these problems. But in any case, for A, I'm going to do my change in Y over my change in X. If I'm going from, I don't want to use A and B. I'm just going to go from the, the higher point to the lower point. So I'm going. My, my change in Y is down two lines, but the lines have units. And so I'm going from 400 to 200. So my, my gallons of water have decreased, have gone down from 400 to 200. So that's negative 200 gallons over. Now I need to move to get to this lower point. I need to move two to the left. Well, I'm going from 20 to 10. Each line represents 5. So if I'm going from 20 to 10, my change in x is negative 10 minutes. OK, um, 200 divided by 10 is 20, and a negative divided by negative is a positive. So this is positive 20 gallons per minute. Now, um, I could have made this easier by starting at the lower point and going to the higher point because then my delta y would have been delta y over delta x would then be positive 200 gallons over 2 to the right from 10 to 20 so positive 10 minutes but we know positive divided by positive is positive and negative divided by negative is positive so it doesn't matter which point you start at, as long as you're careful with your um, deltas, as long as you really consider the correct sign for delta Y and the correct sign for delta X, you'll get the same result. Okay, I want to erase a little bit here so I don't obscure B. I'll do B in purple. For line B, I'm going to... Um, take my own advice and start from the lower point and go to the higher point. So delta y over delta x. In order to get from this lower point to this higher point, I have to go up 2. So I have to go from 200 to 400 gallons. So that's an increase of 200 gallons. And then I need to move 3 to the right, but that represents, this is, a, this is the midpoint between the 10 and the 20, so this is 15. I'm going from 15 to 30, so that's an increase of 15 minutes, so positive 15. I also could have realized that it's three lines over, and each line is five minutes. All right, so 200 divided by 15, um, 200 is not divisible by 15. However, both 200 and 15 are divisible by 5. 200 divided by 5 is 40. 15 divided by 5 is 3. And I don't know if I've indicated on these notes. I don't think I have. But if you have 40 divided by 3, you don't need to do this. You, I'm okay with using a calculator on this because I really don't want you to get bogged down with the computation, although I don't think there's too much of it. But um, this ends up being 13.33. Uh, 3, the 3 goes on forever. So it's I shouldn't put that unless I... It's 13.3 repeating with bar notation.
but just know that the, th the three will go on forever. And so um, well, I really should have looked for our positive 20 gallons per minute first. Let's look for that. We've crossed off that and we've crossed off this. There's 20 gallons per minute. So we crossed that one off for uh, water flow for hose A. And for B, I'm looking for something that looks like 13.3 repeating. Um, oh no. Oh, there it is. Okay. They, look, I see what they've done. They've rounded to the nearest tenth. If you round to the nearest tenth, it would just be 13.3. So there it is right there. Okay, so that's a good start. I think most of what you're going to run into on the next six problems are versions of what we just did together. Um, but I could be wrong. Um, so if you're trying one and you're stuck, feel free to advance to the next slide and watch part of the video to get unstuck and then pause it and then try to finish on your own. Um, we're not meeting in Zoom today. Spend 30 or 40 minutes on this and th that'll be good practice. It's okay to, it's okay to, um, it's okay to stop at about 40 minutes, even if you're not done with the whole thing, but you can, you can check your answers with each slide because I'll go over each problem.